from a variety of rehabilitation disciplines. We're really reimagining and reinventing the way that rehabilitation is done. So in addition to the really personal touch of our you know, wonderful and well-trained uh, team members, technology is really a difference maker. So we know that technology can accelerate rehabilitation. It can also change the trajectory of rehabilitation. So we've literally we've gone around the globe almost to pull technology from other countries into the Richmond area. But one of the devices that we're particularly excited about in the Motec Ryzen is a three-dimensional body weight support system. It'll be the first deployment in the Western Hemisphere, actually. This device will allow people to move in free space while being suspended, be able to make them lighter and they will be able to accomplish normal tasks within totally free space. Something that is just uh, was imaginary about uh, 10 years ago. Previously, we had uh, sort of gantry systems that would allow for minimal body weight support and were kind of clunky for clinicians and patients to use. Then we evolved into track-based systems, which are still very useful, but they only allow a patient to move within a linear dimension. Now with the Motec Ryzen, it allows us to move anywhere within a three-dimensional space. The, the body weight support is still taken up, but a patient can move sideways, laterally, diagonally, can turn, um, interact with real-world objects, and we can even in the future project augmented reality onto the floor so that a patient can interact with virtual objects or virtual targets on the projected onto the floor. One of the things that's really important to note is how it makes people feel when we think about how a patient feels to, to be able to stand up and to be able to move in free space. Sometimes the goal is therapeutic walking, to be able to walk without a device. And sometimes the goal is just to be able to move around for the pleasure and joy of movement or for the secondary benefits to the body's physiology. So we really look to provide the technology to interact with someone on a very personal level to provide them with not only potential recovery, but also enjoyment and encouragement as they're moving on through their journey. So at Sheltering Arms, and certainly for the Sheltering Arms Institute, we have a very bold vision. And over the years, the way that that has been brought to life, really, in addition to having the bold vision, you have to have a way to fund that bold vision. The Sheltering Arms Foundation has been just a tremendous partner. And through the generosity of donors throughout the community, amazing things are possible in the Richmond areas. So we're literally bringing world-class technology and world-class therapies and healthcare to the Richmond area so that we have a way to really care for the community, and that is possible specifically because of philanthropy. So my name is Matt Wilkes. I'm the Chief Rehabilitation Officer at the New Sheltering Arms Institute, and I love my job. I'm so excited to be able to work for the good of the community, to bring the latest technology, and to also be able to lead very talented teams of people to create amazing rehabilitation.